Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will be discussing about the third problem of today's weekly contest using a robot to print the lexicographically smallest string. The problem states that you are given a string S and you can perform the following operation. Initially, you have another string T which is empty. Now you can perform the following two kind of operation. First, you can remove the first character of S and append it to T. Okay. The second operation is remove the last character of T and append it to the answer. So initially answer is also empty. Okay. So you have to perform these operations repeatedly until both S and T are empty. Now you have to perform the operation in the order such that the resultant string that you are getting is lexicographically smallest string. Okay. So let's take an example. Let's say S is ZZA. Okay. And initially we know T is empty and S is ZZA. And P, like P, let's say P is the final answer. And we want P to be lexicographically smallest. Okay. Now, what they have done initially, they have applied the first operation three times. So if you apply the first operation three times, you will be removing the first character of Z, uh, first character of S and appending it to T. So if you remove first character of S and append to T, you will get Z, T become Z and S become Z A. Now again, you will apply the same operation T become Z Z and S become A. And third time you will apply, you will get T become Z Z A and S become empty and P is equals to empty. Now what they have done, they have done the same, the, the second operation three times. So second operation states that last, take the last character and put it to P or append it to P. So you will, if you take the last characters and append it to P, you will get A, Z, Z. Now you can try any possible order of these operations and you will see, you will not get anything smaller than A, Z, Z. Hence A, Z, Z is the result. Okay. Now how to solve this? So first of all, uh, what lexicographically smallest is. So let's say you have uh, two strings A, B, C and A, E. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Let's uh, take another example. Let's say you have two string A, B, C and A, A, Z. Okay. Now it doesn't matter what afterwards we have. The first character where they disagree, whoever has the smaller value will be the lexicographically smaller string. So among A, B, C and A, A, Z, A, A, Z is the smaller, is the lexicographically smaller value. So now if you know this, now what exactly we can do? So first operation, there are two operations, either remove the first character of S and put it to T or remove the last character of T and put it to the result. Let's say result is P. Okay. And put it to P. So this is what the three operations are. Okay. Now, uh, what exactly we have? So first, uh, first operation will be always removing E and putting it here. Why this will be the first operation? Because second operation states that you have to remove the last character of T and put it to P, but there is no character in T at all initially. So the first operation, the very first operation should always be remove the first character of S and put it to T. Now you have choices. Let's say either you can put E to P. Okay. This is the first choice or you can apply the first operation and put D here and then continue with other characters. Okay. So there are, now there are two choices. Now, which choice will you do? Remember, we have to minimize the first few characters as much as we want. Okay. So the first few characters should be as low as possible. So what we can do, what we can see here, there are A's. Okay. In this string. So if we can manage to get A in the front, that would be the best possible bet we have. Okay. So now how to get A in the front? So what you will do, okay, what you have just done, you have just checked, okay, what is the minimum here? Okay, minimum is A. So if minimum is A, I will not apply the second operation because 
I can get minimum like more less value in the front by just applying the first operation few more times. So let's say here minimum is a and a is smaller than e. So I will apply again the first operation and put d here. Okay. Again d is the first character and what is the minimum here? Minimum here is a. So I will again apply the first operation and get a here. Okay. Now here it is a and minimum here is also a. So you can't uh, gain much by applying the first operation again because if you apply the first operation again as you can see you will you might get another character b which you have to first append to p that might not be optimal okay so what you have just done you have just said seen that okay i know that a is my last character in t and this a is like s doesn't have anything smaller than a so let me take this a uh, let me take this a and put it to p okay now again you will do the same operation you have two choices either you will put d here or you will put b here now which one you will take again the same operation what you will see okay i have a in this string which is smaller than d so getting a first would be more beneficial so what you will do you will apply the first operation and take b here so now again uh, you can either put b or you can see that okay there is a here somewhere so putting a here might be beneficial so you will not apply this first second operation instead you will again apply the first operation now with the same logic you will apply the first operation and finally you will get a here now you will see okay what is the smaller here smaller smallest value is b which is anyway greater than a so let me put the a first because that would be beneficial now again with d like the last character is d what is smaller here smaller here is b so if we put d we might get stuck so let's put the smaller value here so you take b out of here and put b here so hope you get the feel of it what we are doing so in a way what we are uh, doing is this thing initially we start at index 0 okay now we keep on iterating on s until it is exhausted because that's what in the problem we have said and now what we have what we are doing every time is we were seeing whether minimum in s or basically this minimum is the leftover minimum starting from s index whether minimum in s is less than t dot last the last character of t if it is what it means is uh, the last character like there is something in s which is smaller than the last character of t so instead of putting last character of t in the result if I keep on applying the first operation and get to this point whether where this is minimum I can like what we have done we have said that okay a is the minimum so what we have done we have keep on applying the first operation until we reach a as soon as we reach a we apply the second operation because we know this is the minimum value so that's what we have done we have said that okay our required character is this so we will keep on applying the first operation until s index reaches required okay and as soon as this happens we will have the smallest character in t the smallest last character in t and we will put this smallest character in our result because that smallest we want smallest first okay so we'll pop the last character of t and put it to our result so this is the final solution now what is the time complexity of the solution here you can see you are doing a while loop which will run for order n time okay where n is the length of the string now uh, what else you have you have this uh, if condition where it says that what is the minimum in s so starting from s of index what is the minimum in s so this minimum calculation will take order n time right now after that what you are doing you are just iterating over s and pushing s behind uh, pushing s forward s index forward so this like uh, this plus this like this plus this would be order n right so this doesn't count and uh, finally you pop this is order one so fi the final op complexity is n into n so final complexity worst case is order n square so we can see this order n square will not pass here because n in n is up to 10 to the power 5 so what we are like we want to remove one of this n 
we can't remove this n because we have to iterate over s so that is not removable we can remove this by somehow by some operation so now what we are find like why this n is coming in the first place this n is coming because we want to find the minimum in remaining s so if we are at index this we want minimum in this part of the s if we are at index this we want minimum in this part of s so what is this this is exactly what is suffix minimum is right if you take the suffix minimum once you can tell in order one time what is the minimum in remaining part of the s so that's what uh, the final solution would look like in final solution you will just calculate the minimum everything else remain as is just inside this instead of calculating the minimum you will just see what is the suffix minimum at current index and that will give you the smallest value in s starting from s index so hope this solution makes sense let's look at the code the code is exactly similar we find out suffix minimum okay and then we check whether t is empty if t is empty we can't apply the second oper second operation anymore so if t is empty we will always apply the first operation what is the first operation put the first character of s in front of t or uh, append the first character of s in t and then move forward because you have taken care of this character of s now if t is not empty it means there is something in t and there is something in s so if in those cases what we have just seen we want minimum to the answer minimum to the resultant string so how we get minimum we get minimum if there is something lesser in s then the last character of t then we will go to that lesser value first so that where we have done if there is something lesser in s then we go to that particular value and push that to t and once this is done we know that t contains the la smallest value the t last value is the smallest value so what we have done we have just pushed that to the result and pop that to from the t now after this entire thing is done with basically s is now empty now if s is empty only operation that you can apply is the second operation where you have to pop from t and push it to the answer so that's what we have done we have applied the second operation as many times as we can and finally we return the result so hope this solution makes sense if you have any doubt in this problem please post them in the comment section below i would be happy to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you